All right, it's media day. We're talking with Collegeville Heritage's uh, new head coach, Jerry Edwards. Coach, first of all, welcome back up to DFW, and which leads me to my first question. I'd love to. I, w- I would love to know the mindset when you're about ready to take a new position. Obviously, the first thing is how it's going to affect your family, but but after that, maybe talk about what made the Panthers' job uh, so enticing to you and why you jumped at it. Well, I think you know. First and foremost, when you're looking across the state of Texas, you look for premier high school programs. And I think Colleyville Heritage is one of those premier programs uh, in the state of Texas in the DFW area. You know, I'd previously coached in the DFW area at Mansfield High. Uh, and the style of football here is phenomenal. Uh, and so if you want to be a head coach, uh, you know, you want to coach, you know, in what I consider probably the hotbed for Texas high school football is in the DFW area in the state of Texas. And so an opportunity to come here for me and my family. I have three small boys and academically and athletically, it was a good move personally, uh, but professionally somewhere uh, that was historically had won quite a bit, you know, 17 years in the playoffs, uh, a, a place with amazing facilities, great administration, uh, and somewhere, uh, you know, professionally that I wanted to be where I think uh, that we can make some inroads, be a region one favorite and uh, take Colleyville Heritage to the next level. Excellent. Yeah, and we're, and we're going to get to the roster here in a second. But uh, once you get settled in at a job like this and you have the roster in front of you, what's the first thing you kind of look for? Uh, you, you meet the players, obviously, but do you kind of have your own mindset? You you want to kind of put your own game plan or not a game plan, but your own fundamentals and, and culture into the school? Or, or what's the first thing you try to do when you first settle down uh, into a new job like this? Yeah, well, you know, when I hit the ground two weeks ago, you know, the biggest thing for me is to start developing relationships, uh, you know, with our student athletes, uh, you know, not just the football players, but all the athletes across all sports here at Colleyville, uh, and to get to know the coaches and the administration and everybody that kind of uh, pours into our program. You know, it, they say it takes a village to raise a kid. Well, it takes a village to have a successful athletic program. And so, you know, first two weeks, I spent a lot of time getting to know kids and, and trying to learn who they were and what they were about. And, uh, you know, just trying to get uh, fully immersed uh, in the culture here. Uh, and then, you know, after these two weeks, you know, taking time to kind of see things that you can tweak or, or, or change a little bit uh, to get the most out of our kids and our program and to maximize it. And so that's kind of the phase I'm in now. You know, I think I've got I've done a good job of getting around the kids and being with them and the coaching staff here. Uh, so now it's just trying to piece the staff together. Uh, you know, I got a coach coming in next Monday uh, and then we'll start implementing our scheme uh, with their kids. You know, they got a lot of returners coming back offensively. Uh, so super excited about that. I'm a defensive guy, but uh, having that many guys back on offense is exciting for me because, you know, where I came from, we'd like to put up points and play good defense. Uh, and so uh, just getting our hands in there, getting ready and start, you know, slowly but surely uh, putting this together. That way, when we get to the end of May, uh, you know, we, the kids have a good base understanding of what we're about and what we're going to do and schematically. Uh, and then we can roll that into our summer strength program. We're just going to talk about uh, individual players, but I'm not quite sure how much you, you have knowledge of them. But I know that the fans at Colorado Heritage would love to know who's going to be uh, tossing that ball around since uh, Weston Smith had kind of moved on. But is that something you'll have to see in, uh, then during spring practices the next couple of years or, do you have, or next couple of months? Or do you have something in mind or? Or what? Well, uh, you know, I know uh, Luke Ulrich is back. Uh, you know, he uh, played a lot of multiple positions uh, for the team last year. You know, I've, I've done the deep dive in on film and, and kind of broken down every game and watched. And so I have a good understanding. You know, I haven't put names to numbers yet. I kind of know them by numbers right now, uh, just based off the film. But, uh, you know, Luke has been out here with some of our guys uh, before practice throwing the ball around. Uh, my quarterback's coach will be here next Monday, and then he'll do a good evaluation process to make sure we have the right signal caller back there to to be effective when, when we uh, moving the football up and down the field. All right, so I'm not going to talk too much about uh, personnel, but I would like you you mentioned it. Uh, defensive minded coach uh, is what you got here, and Colleyville, whether right or wrong, has kind of developed that reputation over the years of a team that's going to put 40 points on you, but may give up 41. Uh, talk about how you're going to try to implement your defensive strategy on a team that, like you said, they've got they've got playoff experience aspirations. They they've been known to go a couple two three rounds in the in the postseason. 
but maybe need that kind of defensive push to get them even further. Well, you know, I'm a firm believer in defense wins championships. And I think, you know, if you look back historically at the game of football, uh, teams that play good defense and can run the football have a chance to go deep. Uh, and that's kind of what we hung our hat on at Harker Heights. Um, and then that opens up the passing game and gives you an opportunity. Now, we scored a lot of points, but uh, we want to make sure that uh, we limit uh, teams. You know, it's the game is kind of involved into an offensive game. Uh, and it, it feels like the offensive guys have all the – all the uh, uh, advantages out there on the field. But, you know, from a defensive mindset, we're going to be uh, sound uh, and fundamental and play great technique, and we're going to be great tacklers. And I think, you know, you, the, the more opportunities, especially with the high-powered offense we got coming back next year with all the playmakers, uh, the more opportunities that the defense can generate possessions for the offense – bodes well for our football team. And so, you know, just kind of that mentality, I think, you know, typically the teams I've been around, they kind of take on the identity and the, of the head coach and that, you know, I'm just an old old school ball coach that uh, likes to get after it. And uh, I'm a high energy, high intense guy. And I think that, you know, it'll be a little bit different style. You know, I don't want to give up 40 points a game. Uh, that, that kind of makes me cringe. Now I'm okay giving up 40 if we score 41. Because uh, at the end of the day, the, the win is all that matters. But, no, we're going to, you know, have a good style of defense. You know, when teams play us, uh, I want them to know that we're going to be a physical, hard-hitting team uh, on both sides of the ball and, and, and including in special teams. And so uh, – and that starts with our defense and carries over into our offense. And so we want to make sure that we do a good job of branding that style. I guess lastly, we'll talk about the district. Have you had a chance to glance – uh, as some of the teams in your district, I know you got the natural rivalry with Grapevine, but the Fort Worth ISD teams have been starting to play some serious ball, especially Arlington Heights last year. And this year we're kind of predicting ODI, why it's going to take a big step up and, and be a, make a challenge for at least a, a big time top two playoff spot. Uh, talk about what you foresee in that district and, and cut some of the challenges you might face with some of these teams. Yeah, you know, still kind of going through the evaluation process of the district, you know, uh, just looking at, you know, from last year results and watching the game tape, you know, like you mentioned, Arlington Heights uh, had a really good football team and you could tell that they're well coached and, and fundamentally sound. Uh, they had a big tailback. It was one of the first things I looked up. He's he graduated. So that was a that was a good thing. Uh, you know, and then you got the rivalry game, you know, where I came from, you know, rivalry games were big and, you know, you kind of toss records out and everything out when you get into a rivalry game. And I've heard that the that the Grapevine Colleyville game is, is a big one. So I'm excited for that uh, game as well. And then. You know, I haven't really done the deep dive in on, on some of those other uh, Fort Worth schools, uh, but, you know, we want to make sure that uh, uh, we will during the course of, of the summertime, making, you know, breaking them down, seeing how many returners they got coming back, what their scheme, what their style is, uh, so we can prepare ourselves in fall camp to be ready uh, to, to go through the district. You know, I know we got some good early tests uh, on in the season with, with Texas High uh, and, and Ennis. Uh, that I think will prepare us uh, for those district ball games uh, that we're going to need to win to get a district championship uh, and bring one back to Colleyville. Awesome, Coach. Man, I appreciate you joining us. and We were looking forward to seeing what you bring to the Panther Nation down there in uh, Colleyville. Uh, we will talk to you soon, and thanks again. I appreciate the time and uh, all you do for sports, and go Panthers. <laughs>